<clears throat> okay. Materials we'll need to make this assist hook. We're using Varivas assist line number 80. This type is very difficult to work with, but it can be done. There are other ones that are easier to work with, but I found that that particular one is uh, more resistant to teeth. 7117 hook. This is uh, VMC, of course. Okay, this is about three inches. <clears throat> Solid ring. This method requires two operations. So this is the first step, attaching the solid ring to the assist line. Now, when you cut a piece, there's actually something inside it. Okay, so you have to peel it back a bit and pull the core. And this is the core. Then you take your rigging needle and how I do it is to it's not it's not perfectly it's not perfectly centered or it's not perfectly half okay because these have the tag there you have to give it a bit of space because what happens is this compresses and you want this to stick out more it gets compressed because you're pulling this in okay Take your rigging needle, put that through, okay, and then put the solid ring in, run it through, like so, okay, once it's out, tighten it. Make sure it's super snug. Okay, you want this as secure as possible. Like that. Okay. Then, you measure. So I wanted, I wanted that length. I mark where it is. And then make sure to push it at the center so you secure your hook like this okay like that it's uh this is quite difficult but an essential step to this takes a bit of convincing for this thing to go past the barb. Okay, we're at the barb. We just have to make sure that it goes past. Okay, there we go. So it's perfectly centered and then pull it in until you get to the end and that's it. Right there. Okay. That's it. And then what you do is take it to the spade. Okay, as close to the spade as possible. You get a pair of pliers and you mash it down. makes it easier to tie okay that's it okay again mash it down so that it 
place down flat on the shank. Okay, so you get something like this. Next step. Put it on fly tying vise. It doesn't have to be as fancy as this, but or you can do it by hand. It's just that if you do it like this, it'll be easier. Okay, let me just see here. Okay, perfect. I'll bring it in closer. There we go. Okay, now before you even start tying, okay, you have to cut the tag and you cut it in a diagonal there we go and I'll give you a really nice taper okay then I use discarded fishing line this is I believe point either point four or point six the for brim and uh, ultralight tackle okay so you start there okay the most important thing is also bind underneath and it'll keep it from moving and you don't really see it once it's all done you don't even notice there are some bindings there but what it does is to lock this whole thing in place okay you don't have to be super clean on the first pass you just have to secure it okay like so um it's not everyone's practice but i use head cement and put some before you put more bindings in it just make sure that all your wraps are protected even in the inside and you don't have to coat everything even just the top part is okay as soon as you bind it what happens is it starts going into the gaps and help secure everything okay so you could spread that around like so ensures that your wraps are secured okay and then final wrap Okay, and then to secure everything, I use a whip knot. I do three. Okay, there we go. And then, just so it looks even better a coat of head cement because it's braid it already stands a lot of abuse putting the head cement in just make sure that everything's clean you can use epoxy some use UV glue but I don't recommend the UV glue because they don't really stick you could use CA glue or super glue okay so that's it as you can see 
perfectly positioned and when you put it in a plug because the hooks are pointing up when the fish bites and it hooks the, the fish the wrappings are not inside so it won't get cut by the teeth it's at the back and usually this part hangs out like that anyway so it's away from the teeth and also the uh, the hook itself is secured by the assist cord pierced by the hook so it's not gonna come off easy even if the wrappings are all gone it's still gonna hold but that's that's basically it